بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم And thus we have revealed unto you a Quran in Arabic that you may warn the mother of the towns, Mecca, and all around it, and warn them of the day of assembling, of which there is no doubt when a party will be in paradise and a party in the blazing fire, hell. The scholar of Exodus explained, Mecca is called the mother of all cities for some reasons. First, the common narrations confirm that God shaped the earth like an egg from the spot of Mecca. Second, it is the center of the dry land. Therefore, it is a mother and other nations are her daughters. The Arabic linguist saying, the word Mecca or Mecca in Arabic is derived from the Arabic word Mukaka, that means the brain in the center of the skull. Thus, Mecca was so called because it is the center of the dry land. Dr. Yahya Waziri proved this scientific fact in his research, which was accepted by several international research bodies. I use two programs that can capture live satellite photos of the Earth, give accurate measurements of the arc distance as well as directions between any two points on the Earth. These programs are Google Earth and Qibla Locator. These programs are well known and certified by specialists and experts around the world as accurate and their results as being dependable. I choose four groups of measuring points that were selected to measure how far they are from the honored city of Mecca. First group of points, the farthest points from the honored city of Mecca at the edges of the old world continents, Africa, Europe and Asia. The study shows that the average distance between the farthest locations at the edges of Africa and Europe, Iceland, is 6,442 kilometers. A part of Asia was not included in this distance for the continent's large area. The remaining part of Asia will be included in the measurements of the New World because the farthest location at the edge of Asia meets the farthest one at the northern borders of North America at the Bering Sea. This fact was unknown until the North and South Americas were discovered and a world map containing the seven continents was drawn. Second group of points, the nearest locations at the edges of the New World continents and the meeting point of Asia and North America at the Bering Sea. Australia and Antarctica. It was discovered that the average distance between Mecca and the nearest locations to it at the edges of the New World continents, that is Australia, North and South Americas and Antarctica, is 9,306 kilometers. Third group of points, the farthest locations at the edges of the New World continents. It was discovered that the average distance between the honored city of Mecca and the farthest locations at the edges of the New World continents, that is Australia, North, Central and South Americas, and Antarctica, is 13,600 kilometers. Fourth group of points, distances between Mecca and the geographical centers of the New World continents, which represents the center of this continent's area. It was discovered that the average distance between Mecca and the geographical centers of the New World continents, that is Australia, North and South America, and Antarctica, is 11,529 kilometers. Thus, through scientific measurements, God's miracle that Mecca is central to the dry land has been confirmed.
Merkels continue to prove that the pillars of the Kaaba point to the continents of the world and confirm its centrality on Earth. Through studying the geographical orientation of the Kaaba, it has been proved that the Iraqi corner points to the Eastern European plain. The Shami corner points to the west coast of North America, the Yemeni corner points to the east coast of Africa and the corner in which the black stone is placed points to the West Iranian islands in Asia. Hence, it appears that the pillars of Kaaba point to the strategic location on Earth, that each of these locations exist between two of the six continents and that the real names of the Holy Kaaba are the European corner, the American corner, the African corner and the Asian corner. This demonstrates the universality of the Holy Kaaba and that it has been placed for all people at the Earth's center according to the Holy Verse. The shadow of everything points and refers to Mecca, the Qibla. Mecca being at the intersection of latitude 21.25 degree north and longitude 39.49 degrees east Greenwich Mean Time GMT means that the sun is directly over the Kaaba at the local Zohr prayer time. This has been observed during two days in the year, May 29th and July 16th, in which the direction of the Qibla is in opposition to the direction of the shade. The method of determining the direction of Qibla through shadows is the most accurate way to locate the Qibla from any part of the world. This shows that the selection of the Holy Kaaba location in Mecca is entirely appropriate to its function as a Qibla for prayers, as facing Qibla requires using accurate scientific methods that help determine its location from any city around the world. The concrete evidence shows that Mecca's longitude is likely to be the world's prime meridian. Al Masa, the passage between Safa and Marwa mountains, indicates the true north and south. Also, the Kaaba's original diameter indicates the true north and south. The line linking the two holy cities, Mecca and al Medina, indicates the true north and south. Such evidence is a miracle by all means, as it is impossible to direct the al Masa to refer to the real north and south and to direct the corner of the Kaaba towards the northern polar, as there were no modern equipment when Prophet Ibrahim built the Kaaba 2000 years BC and with the existence of the Kaaba in a valley surrounded by mountains from all directions hindering any process of astronomical survey this means that God has placed the Kaaba such that its Iraqi corner faces the real north an unbiased Western scientist called Professor Arnold Kisserling who worked as a university professor in Vienna University for more than 30 years, demanded that Mecca's longitude become the prime meridian rather than Greenwich. Moreover, he drew a map of the world with a line passing through Mecca and in perfect alignment to the polar star, proving that Mecca is the center of the dry land. He also drew another map illustrating the different time zones 
making Mecca's longitude the beginning of global timing, zero degree. In accordance with the mentioned scientific evidence and material indications, it will be impossible to say that chance alone enabled the Kaaba to play the role of being the Qibla for all Muslims. It is Allah's choice and selection that includes great wisdom. When Muslims direct themselves towards Mecca, they direct themselves to the center of the dry land. It should be mentioned that the centrality of Mecca on earth facilitates the performance of Hajj and Umrah for all Muslims from every corner of the world. Ashhadu <laughs>